Matthew Suckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines, just giving you a quick missionary update. And uh, this past week, we totaled, uh, we counted a total of uh, 195 salvations. And so overall, that's a pretty good week for us in terms of total. But we did have a soul winning marathon on Tuesday, and we had really good results between our five marathons. But uh, there was a little bit of rain that day that kind of hindered us, but we were still able to have decent enough weather to, to get a lot of soul winning done. But then outside of that, we actually had a lot of rain the rest of the week. So uh, we had, um, I think, three canceled soul winning times, our Wednesday time, um, our Saturday time was essentially canceled in Manila, and our Sunday time. So it was basically uh, all of our main soul winning times in Manila were canceled. Um, in Pampanga, we had some rain, so we had uh, three salvations at our Saturday time. So overall, we got to 195, but um, the rain was definitely a big hindrance. It is that time of year, and you never know what each week will bring forth. Uh, this week, the weather's pretty good so far, but um, you know who knows by the end of the week. So anyways, um, outside of that, in terms of sermons preached, um, we finished How to Spot a Psychopath, and so uh, you can check that out if you want. It's on our YouTube and we gave kind of uh, just concluding thoughts and how to, a, a survival guide is what I titled it, which is actually uh, one of the chapters in the book Without Conscience by Robert D. Hare. So kind of just takeaways of what to do with a series like that. And uh, we're in Second Peter on Tuesdays, and um, we got one more sermon in First John to finish. We'll finish it next week. Then I have a lot of uh, in-between sermons before we jump into another um, long series that I've uh, been wanting to preach, so we'll do that here for the next several weeks. Um, outside of that, uh, things are going well, but uh, the one big concern that's coming up is uh, the Delta variant is in the news quite a bit, and um, they kind of started to talk about another potential lockdown. Um, things have never been fully, um, I don't know, unlocked down or unquarantined because there's still restrictions on children being out in public. And I, I just stopped paying attention to it um, uh, on a weekly basis just because it's, it's, it will consume your life. You know, this story's been around for quite a long time. But I heard people talking about it, so then I went online and saw that they are talking about quarantining potentially again for the Delta variant. They are just kind of passing that around in the news if the cases end up jumping back up. So hopefully that's not the case. Um, you know, we've, we've, we were still able to go soul winning even during the difficult times during this whole thing, but um, our results were definitely hindered. And so we'll see what's gonna take place. So just be in prayer for us about that. And uh, we also have something else big on the horizon, which um, I'm not gonna mention uh, yet in the video, but just pray for us about that. That could uh, help us get a lot, of, a lot more souls saved. And uh, just continue to pray for our ministry. And thank you and God bless.